Hey guys, Marco here. Um, today we're gonna do a little, uh, just a casual uh, review, not a review, just comparison um, of the Washburn M4 and 4N. I'm just doing this um, for you guys who love those guitars because I noticed there's nothing out there that compares the two. And as you all know, uh, Washburn does a really shitty job at marketing or explaining really the differences. There's no videos, nothing. So I was lucky to get two of them as an artist guitar. Um, and I, as you know, I play, I've been playing them since 95, always had one in my collection. I obviously love Nuno and the guitar. I think it's a great, a great guitar. The company sucks ass, but the guitar is great. Um, and, and by the way, if you're asking why, just because they suck ass. I try to get a replacement neck or parts and there's nobody can get on the phone, nobody ever responds. I finally tracked down somebody, they basically told me to go fuck myself and, and that's that. So I would never ever buy a Washburn product except for uh, the the N series and, uh, and, but I'm already good with that at this point. But the one thing is, I have the uh, N4 Authentic here and uh, in this video right, I'm sorry, this box art here supposedly is a 4N. And what I'm gonna do for you, um, strictly just for no other reason than I wish somebody would do a video like that for me, is I'm gonna unbox this 4N and then we'll compare it. And uh, hopefully if all works out, you'll see one of these two in uh, our next music video uh, for the Vaticans. Vaticans with a T, Vaticans. Check us out, thevaticans.com. Uh, I think you'll, you know what, at the end of this, I'll leave you with our, with our video. Um, so you can, you know, if you like good guitar music, I think you'll dig it. So anyway, I'll uh, get this reel ready, uh, cut it open real quick, and then together we can open the case and see what's, uh, what this thing is all about. So very casual today. I might not even plug them in. Uh, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you know what an N4 sounds like. The 4 and it has the same specs. Uh, it actually probably should sound a little different because it has a thinner, thinner ebony fretboard and a different carving, so, and the nut is different. Will that really translate into much of a different sound? I'm not sure. Uh, I suppose the neck is much different too. I did see the guitar at NAMM, and, but I didn't have a chance to plug it in because Washburn doesn't give you the opportunity and uh, they only post one of each and their, their marketing sucks ass. So um, let's, uh, let's check it out, I'll get the box ready. In case you are wondering, this is exactly like the um, regular N4 Authentic. Uh, I don't know what it will come like from the store. This is straight from the Washburn warehouse because it didn't go to a store. So you can see it's double boxed. It's super safe. Um, and this is a good sign. So um, I'll get it out real quick just to save you some time. I'll show you the in-between step real quick safely packed um, as it should be. I mean, I think this thing goes for like 2,600 bucks, which is uh, whatever. I'll let you decide by yourself. Um, but uh, it is a little bit, obviously much more limited in numbers as this one, which goes for 2,500 bucks. But then again, you should never pay full retail anyway. I'm sure you got good hookups and deals and connections. So let's get to the case. Okay, here we are. Here's the big brother, and um, let's open the case together. And okay, this kind of feels heavier than in the other case. Uh, no, it's the same case. And uh, here we are. All right, let's just, um, uh, bu -bu -bu. you know, let's just take it in together. Obviously, I'm discovering it as we go along. Um, right away, let's check the beam. It is, uh, okay, wow, it's actually super smooth. Sometimes you get these things and it's, um, uh, is that a space? No, it's kind of just the finish. You know, let's take it all in before we take it out. And again, sorry, I'm doing it so casual, ca but casual. I'm not gonna go into a full review like on my other videos, but um, I just figured you might appreciate just having the, um, 
the oh wow this is actually really carved out so this isn't just like on you see here and you know what i'm gonna do i'll take them out on the patio for you so you can really see them but right off the bat what i'm discovering just sharing those thoughts with you this is this is just kind of sanded down these here i don't know if you can see it these are these are actual grooves they're they're really deep i mean let me show you see how deep my finger is this is I mean, these are actual full-on grooves, and they're even deeper than than it shows on the video right now. Uh, you know, I know a lot of the key differences in in and out because, um, you know, I know the guitar well on paper. Uh, I have not played one or plugged it in, but I already know obviously the difference in pitch, ebony, fretboard height, um, the. Floyd Rose, but let's discover it together. I'll take it on the patio, um, and we'll we'll uh, kind of do an A B. Uh, yeah, the neck right off the bat is much different. Um, let's just take them side by side and actually see what's what's up. For you who don't know, and there is a gentleman, and I forget his name right now. He actually owned the guitar that this is based on and sold it and it ended up in Nuno's hands when he bought it from a fan and uh, it's kind of really cool I watched this video on YouTube maybe you can tag yourself in this and uh, which is weird because it was a Davies, Davies obviously and I own a couple of Davies which are those are the true good old days custom shop guitars um, see how that different shawler not here and um, these uh, custom shop, I mean custom shop, they're really production shop guitars that are outsourced now by a builder um, in Ohio. And they're, they're great guitars, but they're, 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 they're really much different than obviously the Davies and, and then the um, late 90s, early 2000 Washburns that were built in the Chicago. And, and you know, uh, in all honesty, I'm not gonna talk smack. I mean, th these guitars aren't bad. Um, you know, they're just different. It's an evolution. It's just what it is. You know, Chicago closed. They moved on. Somebody else is building them. Um, the Ebony is obviously, with a lot of manufacturers, different today than it is with, uh, than it used to be. You know, it used to be real dark Ebony. The, the wood today is just different. And um, uh, the custom shop, uh, you know, I've played quite a few from the New York custom shop. And they, they're a little hit and miss. I mean, some of them look really cool. Like this one is actually pretty legit. If you're into relic guitars to begin with, um, they're a little hit and miss. Some of them look pretty synthetic. Um, and then the regular Alder isn't even clean. It has like a little smudge on it, which is weird. Uh, the Padouk is still one of my favorite, especially my my 96 Padouk or it's 97 or whatever it is. But, but these are cool. Listen, they're great guitars. Um, it's a great guitar to have in a collection. Um, so let's take it out and, and compare it. And sorry, I do want to point this out real quick because, um, you know, uh, this is interesting. I just opened up this little pouch here. Okay. And um, this is how it was. So you get the tremolo bar. I assume these are the keys for the case. And this is just kind of scattered. And again, you see, this is the problem with Washburn. You would think when you spend $2,600, I mean, I didn't spend that, but I'm just saying, and quite frankly, you know, I, I don't know, man, you know, you spend $2,600, which by the way, is a bolt on two piece neck guitar, but whatever, it's all good. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to get into it. I just, I just, just don't care. <laughs> um, but you would think there would be a little picture, a little thank you, a little, a little fucking something, man. I, I don't know. You know what I mean? You can... <laughs> Yeah, whatever, man, you know, you, can, you guys can leave it in the comments. You just think if you spend $2,600, there will be like, you know, like a little, hey, enjoy your new guitar, or like a little booklet, or a little something, or, or, or I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I just, yeah, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, let's go compare them. Okay, here we are. Uh, I brought them outside so you can see them in light, and uh, I hope this helps you at least get to know the difference of the models a little bit in case you're considering um, buying one of these or one over the other or both for that matter. 
I know how uh, we Nuno, Nuno fans can be. But so let's uh, let's go through this. Um, you know, let me. Uh, it looks like the uh, the body's pretty. I mean, it's ident identical, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see what we got. You know, obviously the stickers are different. You have a detuner on the um, um, and for authentic. You don't have one here. Uh, and I really hope the gentleman that's originally owned the 4N or the model that ended up in Nuno's hand uh, tags himself here and it was a great, uh, you know, this is a really nice piece of wood. Um, again, you have a little, it's pretty level here. There's a little bit of a groove, but it's okay. Not, not a big deal. Um, the fretwork looks good. Again, this ebony is not... I mean, it's much lighter. You see these light browns, and fair enough. That's not Washburn's um, case uh, or mistake, I should say. It's just the laws now are a little bit different. Obviously, you see the difference here. I think you all know that. Okay, so you see how the shoulder nut is here compared to the Floyd Rose nut. Um, I wish you could feel the neck because the neck truly is completely different. This is quite quite a handful and this is way thinner. Um, it's not that big of a difference, but it, it, it it's it's a it's a big enough difference, okay? And we'll lay them side by side to compare the depth of the ebony fretboard. I doubt you're gonna get a big tonal difference just because these are so brutally high output and these guitars are played with, with never raw, you know, or raw in or straight in. So I think between the mods you put on and your sound chain, but technically speaking, you should you should obviously get a difference. You can tell just right here that this is a, it's thinner, but not that much. I mean, um, both the same configuration, 59 on top, Bill Lawrence, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Floyd Rose. Lloyd Rose, and you know what? I'll take this one out so we can go one on one. Um, this has a cream. This one has a black. Feels good. Um, you know, let's lay them down. Let's see here. Let's see what we got, and I'll lay the other one down too next to it, so we can kind of compare. And I can actually see how this is really brown. This is this is really not ebony. I mean, it is ebony, but it's. It's not really outsourced very well. If you really, really wanted, wanted to take the time, you could have put on... I mean, I have other guitars with ebony. My Majesty, and that's actual ebony. This is really... Whatever ebony they're using, it's... it's uh, Whatever. I told you I'm not the biggest fan of the company, so if it comes off that way, I'm sorry. But, you know, Washburn is just... Um, and even on their website, all it says is, Oh, you know, it took us... A year and a half to match it. it it does they do a fucking miserable job of promoting these guitars and i think if it wasn't for the end series that company probably would have been done already so identical the the side carve is the same um huge difference obviously on the jack which this one is fully recessed so you're not going to be able to use anything angled um i've played uh, or seen enough authentics they do a good job of being uh with respect to continuity uh, but sometimes like i mentioned they can look a little bit synthetic this one actually looks pretty good the wear isn't too much but again these are actual grooves these are real carved out grooves just just so you know um yeah it looks pretty good i mean they're beautiful guitars you know i've i have a childhood attachment to them i've been playing them since i was very very young in 95 i saved up for my first one i was working two jobs i always wanted one and um you know the guitar is great so i don't want to hate the guitar just because i had terrible experience with the company and the customer service or the lack thereof uh, you can tell right away because the pitch uh, of that fretboard is different that the floyd rose is completely flush or recessed to the body here it is very high and that's due to you see the uh, fretboard is much thicker here 
and quite a bit thinner there. And I'll lay them side by side for you in a second. And that's off on uh, both sides, obviously. You see on the authentic, and you see it here, it's pretty um, flush and recessed. I haven't plugged it in yet. Uh, this is all real time that I'm doing with you guys so that uh, you guys can kind of discover this at the same time as I'm doing. We go to the back. Um, this is not the most figured bird's eye. I think for a $2,500 guitar, you could have chosen something more figured and that's the problem. They're not consistent. My other authentic is brutally figured. Uh, this one definitely has the nicer neck. And again, we are with the 4N here, just so you know, in case you got confused. You can also see from the grooves, but we'll get to that in a second. So this is really nicely figured. It's a nice, it's a nice piece of wood. It is a two-piece neck, keep that in mind. Uh, I'm not gonna explain this to you. If you're watching this video, you know what the, what the Stephen Davis extended cutaway is. So, um, the groove is different. Uh, this one is much deeper. As you can see, it goes all the way to here. And, uh, well, actually, they're kind of hmm, similar. Hmm, maybe, let's see, let's lay it down. The one I saw in Nam was actually quite... So let's see here. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna lay them side by side. So let's see what's up. So, let's see what we got here. Okay. So the the foreen, and you can tell that's the foreen because of the recessed tremolo. The foreen starts way sooner here, and it is in fact much deeper and longer. So there you go. You know, this would have been uh, beautiful for Washburn to do a side-by-side -side on pictures and really explain the difference between the models. But then we're back to them sucking ass. So here is the difference. Okay. So pretty pronounced. Um, let's also look at the fret board, which they mark it as brutally thinner. It really isn't. It is... It is slightly thinner, and you can clearly, clearly here see the, the, the neck, how the top neck is, is significantly thicker. Um, this is a quarter saw neck, of course, although that really should be more towards the middle. Um, you don't really want to put the, the main grain close to the, uh, whatever, I, <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> Um, let's see the, you know what, and I'll lay it down, let's check from this angle. All right, let's see. Um, there's that angle and there's, yeah, this is a much thinner carve here. It's also much more rounded. You can see how thin it gets here. And then here it's, 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 it's obviously much thicker. I think that's it. I mean, you know, um, I'll plug it in in a, in a little bit. Um, I'm not going to go into a full sound comparison, or maybe I will. Let me see how I feel in like 10 minutes from now. Um, what else? Oh, here's another difference, you know, and you can again just see the how brown this is. You know, there's so many brown spots again. I'm not going to really hold that against Washburn too much just because getting real ebony or, or the right ebony is tough. I get it. And bigger companies like um, Gibson, whatever, are going to have a little bit more power and juice and connects to get it. Um, uh, oh, yes, that's what I wanted to point out. Um, as you can see, this one actually appears to be adjustable, the Bill Lawrence which uh, this one isn't so as you all know um this one is screwed in through the back you have a tremolo stopper and you have this custom badge here for the n4 authentic so you have a tremolo stopper n4 badge and the bill Lawrence is not adjustable and here you do also have a trem stopper thanks god because otherwise on this one i would install a tremolo 
no system. So we got a tram stopper. We don't have any kind of custom badge here. Kind of would have been cool because this wasn't on the real one. Well, I'm not sure if that was on, on Nuno's or not, but um, you can also tell the carving, how it's different with respect to the machinery. Okay, this has this nice groove here and this one does a knot. Okay, so this one is straight down and in. Um, also you have, excuse me, let me get you in focus, of course the back plate and here it's flush. I can tell you right off the bat, I, uh, I, I really like it. Um, I almost prefer the 4N with the specs over the N4, just, <laughs> it's funny, just as I'm about to say the next sentence, I'm, I'm realizing why, because it reminds me more of my 95 real older, um, interestingly enough. Uh, just, uh, yeah, yeah, so let me again check the neck. So pretty thin, yeah, pretty thin on the, on the N4. And pretty, yeah, no, now it's actually feeling much, much thicker than even before. So this, this is a pretty, I'll give you, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a quick A, B. I'll do it in real time, so again, we can just discover this together and, you know, you guys can go from there. So I, I just hope this helps, you know, I was doing some research on it and I couldn't find any info on it. And uh, when my manager told me they're going to send a couple of these over, um, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, so let's do a quick A, B. Hey guys, so I'll give you a quick A, B. I'll do it in real time because... I haven't plugged it in yet and I'm going to start with the, the authentic because it'd be interesting to see if I actually see a difference in real time rather than doing a, 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 an edited AB, um, which by the way leads us back. You would think that for two and a half thousand dollars each, Washburn would do a little product demo. Unfortunately they don't, which leads us back to they suck ass. Um, and by the way, good luck if anything ever breaks and you need a replacement part. There's no phone number to call. Nobody will get back to you. Uh, I've tried it. Uh, you can call Jam Music Corp, whoever owns them, and I reached out to them too, but it basically told me to go fuck myself and just return it to the store. And that was my experience with them. But apparently that's a known fact. So if you're wondering or uh, feeling like I'm bashing them, I am. Uh, the only good product Washburn makes and probably the only artist that saved them. Great guitar. It is a little bit of a one trick pony, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into a full review, but uh, let's do an AB and, um, oh, wow, this actually comes in E flat like this one did. So very authentic. At least they got that right to how Nuno plays it. Also noticed, I forgot to mention earlier, um, this one doesn't have the mismatched tuners, but no big deal. I'll show you in a second. Um, so let's see. Do I see any difference? Okay, and I'll do it literally in real time for you. So we'll go. I'm going. I'm going into a, a 410 Joe Satriani head. A uh, little delay reverb. Other than that, pretty straight. So here we go. Sorry, it's a lot of tune. I'm. I'm. You know. It's, Trying to keep it pretty dry on purpose. All right, let's see how they feel. All right, we're gonna go here and again. Sorry, we're gonna keep it very modest. This, of course, is nice to have a regular. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, well, it's completely out of tune for one. Pretty attitude. It does sound brighter, no doubt about it. Right off the bat, you can tell it's a little brighter. This is nice, yeah. Now here you can clearly, clearly tell. I mean, this is a textbook school example of of the difference a thicker neck makes. And and I can, I mean, I can tell you right now, guys. This this is almost. 
this might be pushing almost like a Les Paul 59. I mean, this, this is really full. Um, I mean, you can clearly tell right off the bat how much more body it has. I hear a little. It must be the cable. Again, I'm sorry I'm not in tune. It's gonna be set up later. I'm just trying to give it a lay B. Let's go to some gain and see the difference there. But right off the bat, I, uh, I, I, right off the bat, at this very moment, if you ask me if I had to sell one and keep the other, I'd sell the N4 Authentic and keep the 4N for a lot of reasons. Um, but luckily I'll, I'll keep them both. Okay, yeah, I mean, this is thinner. You know, let's just skip all this stuff and who's gonna play this thing clean? Here it is, we're gonna go, this is nothing, this is straight from the head, JVM, just a little delay and uh, sort of I mean, this is, you can tell from a mile away, it's an M4. Let's see if on the game channel, this thick neck makes that big of a difference. Let's see. I'll give you some nonsense shred. could actually fool you for a Les Paul from, from, from the distance. You can just tell how much more body it has. And it, probably the same will be on this one. Th yeah, this is cutting. This one cuts like a steak knife. This one cuts like a butter knife. I mean, this is a way, way warmer guitar. And I guess I'm hearing that Nuna prefers this one now, and I can see why this is a little bit more of a mature guitar with respect to sound. Don't be confused, it's still an N4, it cuts like a mother effer, but, but you can clearly tell how much warmer it is. I mean, it's a thicker neck, a warmer sound. Um, you have a little bit, I, I don't really feel the difference in the groove here. I mean, they both sit well. Um, but no, this, this is, this is, this is more, uh, dare I say, less polish, whereas this is way more Ibanez-ish. Okay, I hope that makes sense, you know. So anyway, both great guitars. I hope this gives you a little overview. I just wanted to share with you just some basic stuff because um, there was nothing out there and, and I'm very fortunate to, to have both. Um, and they'll, uh, um, do we have any space left to put it on there? <laughs> Uh, let's look. Um, let's look at the wall. I don't think so. Okay, so this one. I guess here's what we'll do. Check this out. For now, they'll get the honorary spot. We'll put them. We'll put them right here. And then Steve can come later to set them up and get them ready for the show. Um, so pretty cool. I'll leave you with uh, our Church of Denial video so you can actually see how I like the end for the sound. Um, uh, which uh, in that video I played the Paduk, which is my favorite because it really has a lot of that warmth that the uh, foreign has. Uh, and again, thank you. Uh, I hope this, you know, just sharing as a as an N4 fan with you N4 fans out there. I hope this uh, gives you a little bit of an idea of, of of what these two guitars are about. And um, well, I won't see on the road in in America. We're only touring in Asia because that's where we're known and not here. But all the best, love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Yeah.